on Ian Hislop's team tonight, a comedian who rose to fame on the BBC show Have I Got News For You before leaving Have I Got News For You to pursue his own projects, one of which evidently is to appear as a guest on Have I Got News For You, <laughs> Paul Merton. So if you try and get extra mm. points, you take away points. That's generally the so idea. So if I just sit here mm. like this, I've won. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Paul does most weeks. Yes. <laughs> See, I don't okay. care if, Ian, if, you know, if, I'm, if my team loses tonight, I'm more than happy. <laughs> Charles um, Kennedy's line. It is... Uh, well, it the, is... Good, the good thing of being in this programme is at least I can come second. Uh... <laughs> uh, in the days before the crucial debate, John Major was uh, clearly concerned by the serious implications of the report. Have you read the Scott report yet? <laughs> <laughs> Have you read it then? Have you got a copy? Um, I've, I've read a precy. No, he hasn't read it. <laughs> Get your eyes off my thighs. You want to have a go at this? Um, yeah, I think <laughs> might be one I could get right. Yeah. Oh. Princess Di, she's got, um... <laughs> <laughs> she's got, uh, no, she's got spud... Nothing changes. She's got uh, spudgy like no, on the back do. of her legs. No, you do it, She's got spudgy like, not, not across the gags, please. please no. She's got spudgy like, are you still here? She's got spudgy like... <laughs> On I'm like you next week, thank God. Absolutely. She's got cheeves and onion. Chives and onion on the cheeves? What a cheese. What are you talking about? <laughs> what a cheese, you bloody maniac. She's got chives and onion on one leg and she's got a uh, mixed salad on the other. And people are saying, you know, you've got salad on the back of your thighs. You said, no, I've just sat on a stool. <laughs> Give them the points. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I was I was like, the Princess Diana thing, this is on mm. every... Newspaper, the hokey, hokey thing, a lot more obscure. They've yeah. done 94 yeah, episodes get, they, they between easy them. We've yeah. done about two. Yeah. Yeah. And you're trying to make it easy for us. No, you get very easy questions later on, though. Oh, right, yeah, okay. I promise. Well, what is your answer? name? <laughs> Keith. Yes. Are, those your own, are those your own teeth? Well, you, answer the, you answer the question. The son said you've got a great lump on your thighs, and she said that's no way to talk about Will Carling. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone a winner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you and good night. And now a song. <laughs> Any other celebrities uh, who, who famously suffer from cellulite problems? Angus Deaton. Oh, yeah. Sadly Flipper. not, no. Flipper. <laughs> uh, Clogged up his spout. Could, could be true, but it's not the one I've got written down here. Um, Silla from... Black's got it on her face. <laughs> They've got a what? scraper every time she goes on telly. <laughs> or is it polyfiller? I can't remember. You know, she's a friend of yours, isn't she? Now that is offensive. That is. <laughs> Funnily enough, you won't put the lack of laugh on yours, I don't think. No, no, sadly not. Uh, according it's to... It's difficult to put a lack of laugh on something if it's because it's by the fact that it's lack in, is not there. It's a silence. It's a silence. Technical exactly. term. Technical term. A lot of comics mm. know about silence. I know all about it. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, fooled me. What does it that is... mean? <laughs> Nothing. You just said something on the top of your head, it's meaningless. Yeah. Did you pass the water? <laughs> it's all tiny, meaningless. Can you pass the water? Got a laugh. It's tiny. It's tiny. <laughs> Two, two of them go to work on a bike, which means one of the other two must go to work on a bike. So is it Paxman or Snow? I've mm -hmm. never seen either of them on a bike. I have no idea. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know who I am or why, oh why, oh why, Tutankhamun couldn't come in <laughs> and be team captain. It's mm. beyond me. But anyway, I, I think it's uh, Jeremy Paxman. Um, Do you? Oh, uh, right, or the other for, guy. I'll go for John Snow then. <laughs> Uh, interestingly, neither. They've no. all had bikes stolen by Pamela Anderson. <laughs> Who you can see in silhouette behind Jeremy Paxman. <laughs> uh, the football is uh, one removed from a much-loved spot the ball competition of the sort which run in newspapers all around the country, such as the Welsh paper The Western Mail, which not long ago kindly offered £77,000 as a prize if you could spot the ball in this photograph. <laughs> uh, the dog was removed uh, for the purposes of a Spot the Sheepdog competition uh, run by the Westmoreland Gazette. <laughs> That's brilliant. In, uh, 
instead of marking the centre of a football, you had to guess where the sheepdog's nose was. Uh, the answer is always, well, sniffing the bottom of another sheepdog. <laughs> No. Golden Eye, new Bond film about a quilt. <laughs> Wants to take over the world. Stone. So, Mr. Bond, <laughs> that's the quilt. Yeah. <laughs> doing impressions of quilts now. <laughs> Once you break that barrier, you'll get pillows, sheets, <laughs> percolators, and anything. I'll do the lot. Yeah. Archer in line for what job? Bottomley's job. Um, according to a newspaper, which was rung up by a friend of Geoffrey Archer, saying, um, Geoffrey's in line for this job, and I'm going to be... He's going to be awfully good at it. Oh, that was an impersonation of Geoffrey Archer, I think. No, That's I, a disguised no, no, Geoffrey no, no, Archer no, no. voice. No, I think he was still doing a quilt there. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> so, Mr. Bond. Yes. So, Mr. Bond, we meet at last. <laughs> I suppose you're wondering what my tog rating is. <laughs> I am warm in the winter, but cool in the summer. <laughs> Let's see how you like that. Frog hunters told to what? Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Buy frogs. Uh, hop off. Told to grow up. Is it a tabloid? Hop off. That sounds like another Bond spy. <laughs> <laughs> he throws frogs at people. Yeah. Let us see what you are like <laughs> with the top. <laughs> uh, I have a tadpole in my pocket. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hang up. It's very modest of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three months time, it'll leap over a wall though. <laughs> Look what I found under my desk. Anyway. Um, <laughs> where do I get these questions? I... I don't like this game. This is... <laughs> this is so difficult! Selena Scott's what upheld? Brain cell. Okay. <laughs> so not just Julia Carling, then. <laughs> Complaint? It's Selena Scott's claim upheld. I was pretty close. Claim? Do you say claim? Yeah. Okay, you can have the point. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, I'm going to ask you that question again. <laughs> did you say claim? Yeah. Yeah, he did. I heard well, this him. This is worse than the Scott inquiry. Man. <laughs> I heard him. Man lies blatantly and let off. It shows that this week's uh, blackheads are Ian and Dermot with eight, whilst uh, this week's big heads are Eddie and Janet with ten. <laughs> This is a beard question. Um, St. Wilgerfort prayed that um, people would stop hassling her, sort of medieval sexual harassment case, and said, please make me extremely ugly so blokes don't... This is true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so knights and clerics and other honourable chaps don't hassle me. Mm. And um, overnight she grew a beard. Uh, yes, excuse so, me, excuse what, me, we have a right, contribution uh, uh, from, right, okay. from a beard. Yeah. So that's... Uh, <laughs> so, so that, that deserves a mark already, doesn't it? You've, uh, you've grown a beard just so you yeah. can get this yeah. question right. You used mm. to be Fatima Al Masuri, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> but how I knew it. Uh, Never find these people showing that they didn't watch your program, Clive. Yeah, must be very hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a program on? <laughs> Uh, there's also someone else who's sort of forgotten in all this uh, business about the expulsion of the British diplomats. The Russian man who was arrested. Mm. He, yeah, he, he faces possible capital punishment for spying on his own country. It's, it's a barrel of laughs, this story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything we can do at all? You can, can make a few cheap jokes, Angus, see if that works. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think Yeltsin will be watching now. Oh, right. I'd better give him life imprisonment. But isn't this all about helping you? Yeah. Not Tommy Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it might have looked like Jimmy Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> it's we may be brought in to help the ratings. <laughs> 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 I mean, honestly, with all this tap, you've had this up years. Let me It's like bloody rhubarb and custard. <laughs> Come on and splash out of it. Get some new kit here. You can have a nice walk down. Be lovely. You should watch some, flashing lights they on the They should step. watch some of the mm. modern programmes. They've got all that. <laughs> well, but every you've just got one little bit of carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I but, could hoover that. <laughs> 
anyway, go on, get on. With it, um, yes, well, I mean, um, so he's saying, um, so everything they say about Swedish au pairs is true, eh, hey, Anna? Uh, but what's the au pair saying back? Yes, we're all monopeds. <laughs> <laughs> Or, um, I've got no idea, Ted, I'm from Hull. <laughs> um, it is surprisingly close, because in fact she says, I'm not Swedish, I'm Dutch. <laughs> Daddy, what, what are you, you doing? doing? I'm, I'm shagging the, the au pair. <laughs> Um, well, he's sort of true. honest with his kids. Absolutely. The child would be better brought up if he tells the truth, wouldn't it, Claire? Oh, yes. <laughs> Why is he underneath the duvet and she's just sort of sitting on top? Because you'd see his cock. <laughs> very, very very, they're very careful of the sun not to... You're a very room. profound man, Martin. Yeah. <laughs> This is his I'm going to have to take you tell. a lot more seriously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, well, we bow to you. Well, she can hide her bush just by shutting her leg. <laughs> you can't see that the child hasn't got pants on because of the caption. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, she's Dutch. Hop in. <laughs> yeah. I think we've accidentally stumbled upon Martin's area of expertise. <laughs> Yeah, I like these things. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and so to the final frame, uh, with Ted's wife suddenly making an appearance, what is the thought here? I must get rid of that blonde wig. Yeah. <laughs> what would you do if, if she wrote into you saying, Dear Claire. My husband's been having it off with, with the au pair. pair. Should well, I get rid of him or the au pair? Well, I'm She's a very good au pair. To be perfectly honest, <laughs> I'm down, I would keep the au pair, but I'm down if I let him sleep so peacefully after what he'd been up to. What would I'd you be do? giving him hell. He's knackered there. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he's, he's serving up old cheap wig here and the Dutch bird. <laughs> he, would not be, he would not be sleeping so peacefully alongside me if he'd done that, I tell you. Yes. Um, but anyway, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not I'm to take it seriously. You've got the... that problem as well. <laughs> <laughs> what that house? No idea. It is a whole street, not a house. Oh, it's a street? Mm, what do you mean he's shown a oh, picture okay. of a house? How can he possibly get <laughs> <No, a street? laughs> You see, you're cheating, aren't you? I, I think it might be about credit cards. Yeah. This chap, Richard, didn't he have slight trouble about paying his bills? He didn't Oh, pay. really? Well, he didn't. <laughs> and then, and then, isn't... How oh, unbelievably tasteless to bring that up. I know. <laughs> I'm just like, I learned... I think you'd get someone better on than an old Sun journalist raking up shop <laughs> 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 Have a jelly baby, it might sweeten you. <laughs> a jelly baby? That's what I brought the for in case you got stroppy. Yeah. Tears before tea. Tears this before one's tea. been bobbited. <laughs> <laughs> now be quiet eating that while I talk. Right, it's about bills. <laughs> <laughs> <But> this... <laughs> Can I just say that's one of the more surreal moments of the series? <laughs> I thought if I gave him a sweetie, he'd shut up. Right. Now. I'll shut up if you give me one as well. <laughs> jelly me babies. Too. They're oh, guaranteed lovely. BSE fridge. Um, oh. Mm. I've finished. Topical news quiz, you, you get applauded for catching <laughs> the jelly <laughs> <baby. laughs> Next, it's no surprise as Ian what again? Hislop wins. It's no mm. surprise as Ian goes to the pictures again. Goes to the pictures? <laughs> Didn't pick yeah, up that reference. Down our street, Ian. He's going every day. <laughs> Ian wins hunk of the year again. <laughs> it's uh, no, it's actually Ian McShane. It's no surprise as Ian acts up again. He'd have to act up. He's only little. <laughs> Ian yeah. McShane is. Yeah. <laughs> he looks really big in Lovejoy. Oh no no, he's only about an inch taller than you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a jelly baby pet, quick. <laughs> uh, oh, next, Sharon Stone. He wants a jelly baby. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> repellent I'm, factory. I'm guessing it's resistance. Factory repellent. where they make repellent has moved north. 
Kind of oh. manufacturer is the right oh, answer. Well, I didn't say manufacturer. He's a factory. factory. Yes, Same but, difference. No, you stop nitpicking. Oh, come on. Yeah. I'm not nitpicking. Oh, that's, that's the difference between a nitpicking. right and a wrong answer. Who's <laughs> lobby? <laughs> 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 right, that one just babies for it. Yeah, we're keeping them, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which uh, rapid but ill-informed responses bring tonight's uh, conflict to an uneasy piece and the situation is that Martin and Neil are this week's potted shrimps with seven, whereas uh, Ian and Claire are this week's oh. king prawns with eight. <laughs> Is this the lowest scoring contest ever? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and we lost on the lowest score yeah. in the yes. ever. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Interesting. Did and you just want me back to do my pig noise? <laughs> well, we didn't, but now you're here. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. How did you segue into that? Oh, I'm sorry, Eddie. The last time I was on the show, I made a noise like a pig. All right. Everyone remembers it. Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Big welcome back from the audience there. <laughs> Just remind us, run it past us again. All right. <laughs> oh. oh. Yes, I What see. did they so make of him at the Oxford Union? Well, he got a standing ovation uh, as he left. Well, he he actually did pretty well. Finest young minds. Yeah, exactly, as you would expect. But, uh, well, you went there, Ian, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so, so did, did you, I. Angus. <laughs> Interestingly, OJ has spoken at the Oxford Union, as has uh, Ian Hislop. He's appeared on Rich and Judy's show, as has Ian Hislop, and he's been successful in a court of law. <laughs> uh, <I> <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure. It was, uh, bloke in a to it was toilet going to engage, and then some bloke from America mm. um, pulling his face back in a kind of, oh, I've gone to the loo type of way. Or not. Or not. Someone that meant constipation, constipation week. Is Same. the right answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was actually National Constipation Day, but maybe it held over to a week. <laughs> uh, National Constipation Day was on the 16th of uh, April, and as no one has heard of it, can probably re be regarded as a PR flop. According to one of the organisers at the time, we have had terrible difficulty getting any celebrities involved. <laughs> Did they approach any of your clients? I heard that they were after you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Brown <laughs> suit, you see. <think>. Yeah. <laughs> invaded Britain, um, carpet mites invaded Britain. And, um, oh, I know. Didn't they all join in in national constipation? <laughs> or something else, or they're all like helicopters, or one of them <laughs> eats spinach, but the other three don't, and... Uh, it's gonna be something obscure and stupid like that. <laughs> one of them's made out of jam. <laughs> like to nominate one to be made out of jam? Yes. Uh, oh, I don't know. The carpet mites made out of jam. I am going to... I'm gonna have to actually give one to... They all you. conquered Britain, apart from the carpet mite. Is nowhere near, Ian. It's a pathetic <laughs> guess. Even further away than the, uh, the, the one that you... <laughs> Sorry, I've been recruited by National Nose Blowing. <laughs> they Sorry. wanted someone to blow their nose on television to prove that, you know, it's not embarrassing, it's not sad, <laughs> and... Um... And it's not pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the answer? Uh, I'm going to tell you. Uh, I'm going to have to actually give you uh, one point uh, because you got the right odd one out, which is the carpet mite, even though you did say it was because it was made of jam. <laughs> um, the uh, Barry Sheen made me what sandwich? Made me jam sandwich. <laughs> and a sex sandwich. It is, yes. Made me into a sex sandwich. How, how the do right they answer? work, Max? Do you have to have anyone in the middle? No, not necessarily. Now, in fact, with most of the Conservatives, you just need two men. You haven't done any big ones with men. I've never done any ones with men, no. 
it's just very checking. nice of you to uh, recommend it, but it's not for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> to each his own, and uh, good luck to those that sail in that particular uh, camp, but not for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> Well, I would like to fancy men, but <laughs> unfortunately I don't. Well, the, the Daily Mirror's not very gung-ho, are you? It's all a load of nonsense, and it's made you trying to get some uh, popularity at the last minute, and I don't think the British public will buy it. If you want me to be serious for a moment, which I doubt you do. Well, it's good news for you, though. You've just discovered somebody who reads the Daily Mirror, <laughs> because... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that must be... <laughs> It's a more shocking discovery than that I've just discovered Ian Hassop can read. <laughs> yeah. All the bitchings. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> this is Rail Track where um, we've sold off the rail industry. Is that the Daily Mirror? Yes, we? exactly. Yeah. We, I use the collective we as in you and I, in. Oh, right. Oh, okay. yeah. right. And we've all made lots of money, all those who invested in it have, which I didn't, but I presume a capitalist like Ian would have done. And at the end of the day... <laughs> <laughs> have you two met before somewhere in your... <laughs> You're very left-wing for a man who used to edit the news of the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the tragedy is that the poor girl at one had a terrible arthritic attack moments before she went on stage. <laughs> Piers, this is a comedy but... news quiz. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> arthritis doesn't normally feature in that. Uh, but a lot what, of sad what, stories that don't get on. Well, you're this. here, Clive. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, but well, you won't be back. <laughs> <laughs> Clive, did you used to heckle your parents? <laughs> Can you imagine, uh, uh, Clive, we'd like you to go to bed. Oh, that's very interesting uh, ambition. <laughs> He's heckling his own partner. Just, Just for the fun, bit. Felix. You know, <laughs> you know, it's in your contract, you'll see. Provide oh, right. a certain amount of amusement. <laughs> 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 Don't come and just get on with Ian and make a friend. <laughs> it's not a dating agency. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Because if it is a dating agency, I should sue. Because <laughs> I got the good looker. <laughs> oh, try. That's the most well, you pathetic have to have attempt to get good coverage in the mirror <laughs> I've ever seen. You sort of got rather bollocked by Murdoch, didn't you? Rather. I got severely bollocked, yeah. yeah. Did you? Were you sacked? Sacked, you know... sack, did you say? Were you sacked? It's a very serious thing to say on television. <laughs> did you get sacked? I didn't get sacked. You no, promoted I'm glad you said it, because that's going to help pay for the holiday, thanks. <laughs> I can just imagine a jury <laughs> finding for the editor of the News of the World. It's almost like finding the editor of Private Eye, isn't it? Mm. By the way, the... Ian, you know where you live? Yeah. You're about to get a new neighbour. You? Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, actually, next door neighbours are you going to be? He'll be within long lens, I can assure you. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a photographer? He's a charmer, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Do you two want to go and have a fight? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, the PCC castigated the Daily Mirror uh, in March He's for giving going. away the whereabouts of... Is there anything else you want to bring in? Uh, Nothing to do with your own... Yeah, this... this Nothing to do with your own, your own uh, career and the way it, it went up after all the revelations, I guess. After what? <laughs> after we, exactly. we branded you TV Mr Sex and you added three noughts that to That was uh, Time Out that did that. God bless them. Be fair. <laughs> Um, Be fair, Angus, the Daily Mirror did follow you to Paris to report on your party. We did. A party of 25 oh, journalists came to Paris to report yeah. on a party. Yeah. Yeah. To, see to, it, take, to take one photograph. <laughs> yeah. Why did it require 24 well, photographs? We've taken more than one photograph, but right. unfortunately several of your guests uh, decided to start punching him. <laughs> so he left. Which ones? It would be wrong of me to say. Oh, oh go on. <laughs> uh, yes, I will uh, continue what I was going to say. But I was going to remind everyone that the PCC right, on. what, what castigated the Daily Mirror in March for giving away the whereabouts of Robbie Coltrane's house, uh, saying in some cases the publication of an individual's address might create a potential risk to that person. Uh, the Mirror apologised for any stress caused in a press statement issued by their editor, Piers Morgan, uh, of 13 Woodcote Drive, Chigwell. <laughs> actually, can I just say that they actually um, they rejected that complaint? Did they? By Robert Coltrane. So you're entirely wrong to use that against me. Oh, yeah, uh, but they did, they did say that... I just uh, thought I'd say that, in case they were the, the viewers got the wrong idea by this vindictive attack on me, personally. Oh, dear. That's, carry you're, on. You're feeling a bit vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> you're invading my privacy, and I'd rather you left me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you no, you that stepped one into the before. public eye now, Piers. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You were elected to come on this programme, you've got mm. to take it. I it. demand my privacy. OK, mm. we won't talk to you again, then.
every man of my word. Uh, Piers, your four um, <laughs> co unlikely companions are Rupert Allison, oh. <laughs> Sting, a koala bear, and Geoffrey Clements, leader of the Natural Law Party. Is he answered jam? Not in Only so many because, words. Because no. last week Eddie Izzard oh, said so everybody roared words. with laughter. It was hilarious. I just thought I'd say. But people like him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Very good. Mm. Very good. <laughs> Police grab what at Palace? We Intruder. Um, no. no. All right, nothing to be so well, unpleasant it about was it. something. <laughs> I just said intruder, it could have happened. Yes, but it didn't. Um, police grab air pistol, in mm. fact, at Palace. Uh, Whose was it? An intruder's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, what kills hippo? Ladybird. <laughs> it's Caterpillar. <laughs> it's Jam. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Piers? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, the answer is tennis ball. Uh, the tragic tale of a two-ton hippo who swallowed a tennis ball in Germany. Surely you must have covered that in the Daily Mirror. Yes, you're not doing That's very well on these, page are you? five story. What do you know about newspaper editing, Clark? <laughs> about as much as you do. <laughs> <laughs> dear, oh dear, Clark. So you no, plunge merrily no, deeper. I know it's not fair, because no. the Mirror now is almost as good as the sun. <laughs> Well, just now I was rude to you, you sent photographers around to my doorstep the next day, so I'm not doing that again. No. You uh, won't see them this time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he is charming, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so don't try the popularity line with me, Hislop. Why? Anybody here <laughs> like it? Do, do you like it? Anybody actually like it? <laughs> I may not know much about editing newspapers, uh, Piers, but Ian is a regular on this show. You've all been to see Ian. <laughs> We're strangers. They don't like us. They've never heard of us. <laughs> Although I wasn't cheering then, I must say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's Jodie Foster, isn't it? They're looking for a waitress. Here she is. <laughs> this is Camilla. Is this Camilla? That's Camilla, I reckon. Which one? The one in the black tie? No. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, right, look at oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yes, that would be Evil. Camilla. Evil. Cruella the... Parker Bowles. <laughs> 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 yeah, so you got Camilla and the other two. Charles and Di, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They can't be Charles and Di. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon that happens? Um, I reckon that it's Charles dancing with Camilla and he shouldn't be, and Di's caught him. Let's just have a look and see uh, how right you are, Rupert. Don't you think it's a bit crowded? The three of us in this marriage, Camilla? <laughs> <laughs> so, r wrong on every count, I think, Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> what about your mother-in-law? My mother-in-law runs the palace putting lights out. Debbie. She orders them to turn over soiled sheets to save on the laundry bill. I don't believe it. It's terribly but... amusing. If you don't have to live with them. But I'm being terribly naughty. <laughs> <laughs> What's she doing under the table then that's terribly naughty? <laughs> um, Will Carlin's down there. That's <laughs> going on. And the only the, naughty thing she's doing there is actually eating something. Uh, no, she'll run out to the loo and throw up. Is that what's going to happen next? <laughs> Fall down the stairs. Or the Queen will come in and go, Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> she next. was telling tales about Rain Spencer. Mm. About how mean her stepmother was. So perhaps Rain Spencer runs in with an axe. I think he, <laughs> Keanu so, Reeves comes in on a motorcycle and crashes. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this, I know, that's bad. <laughs> so it's Keanu Reeves, Rain he Spencer with an away. axe, uh, or the Queen going, ooh, look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK, well, let's have a look. I'm being terribly naughty. Don't stop. Um, with you, I don't have to be on my best behaviour. If you would just leave that there. Thank you, I won't be leaving you anymore this evening. <laughs> it's all right. Really, it is. It's treason. 
Why is that treason? I call it snogging. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was that still Charles, or is he? You've lost the plot completely. Because that's, right <laughs> that's, that would be treason. That's Hewitt, that, right? That's Hewitt. Yeah. Giving mm. a tongue oh, sandwich. Hewitt. That's I Hewitt. thought that was Prince Charles. <laughs> If uh, you have a oh, good fair, yeah. Sheena, Easton, Sheena Easton's done very well in the States. Mm -hmm. She's Sheena saying, Easton's my look, baby takes the morning train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only piece of pop knowledge I've ever known. <laughs> <laughs> it is very good, that John Major over your shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> look, if you look, oh, look, it's John Major <laughs> looking straight over. <laughs> He's going, one more vote, that's all I need. <laughs> I did that one for him. As he talk? You can do him, can't you? Um, I can't actually, but you're yeah, right. Yeah, you can do major. I can't do major. Aren't you? I can't do major. Just pretend it's Jimmy Somerville, can <laughs> <laughs> Don't treat me this way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's saying over your shoulder, mate. <laughs> You wouldn't say that to Rupert. Rupert votes him. You saved him. Yeah. Only, only occasionally. One vote. You could have brought down the government. You let him off. You could have brought down the government. <laughs> You're nice. sacked. Nice <laughs> uh, There it goes. This is not going to last long. It's going to 40 seconds. And boom. <laughs> yeah. The world's most expensive firework. It's quite <laughs> nice, isn't it? It's a Euro rocket, isn't it? It's a Euro rocket. Cost billions and billions of francs. <laughs> it's sort of a symbol for the European dream. Incredibly expensive and boof, <laughs> presumably in France. <coughs> Very good. Very good. Medaillon. Very good. Um, <laughs> I bet you, you had books when you were at university. Yes. <laughs> Don't think you read any, though, did you? <laughs> Um, thank you, Mr. Up. Deaton. <laughs> Let's talk about your second, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I'm not going to pursue this one. Um, Acid <laughs> I'm gonna give it was you... Maggie saying... Yes, I'll give you a point for that and a point for, um, yes, saying hit. it was in fact a hit, which it was. <laughs> um, Expect uh, a waiter to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> was it um, the Sex Pistols? It was an acid, an acid band, band, wasn't it? <laughs> Called... Oh, give me a clue for Christ's sake. Sitting you've got, there, you've got... so pompous. <laughs> <laughs> So, music lovers unite and cover your ears as we listen to this next one. I am a free spirit. I am a free spirit. I'll fight till you. I am a free spirit. I am a free spirit. You won't know quite. Who knows what fate will produce? Who knows what circumstances will provoke? <laughs> ah, get those dippy eyes out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. her. Hospital radio, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you've got the lead vocalist, uh, or at least we assume that the voice really belongs to Diana, given that the Diana that features in the song's video is so clearly Her Royal Highness. Yes, I adored him. Yes, I was <laughs> Uh, and finally, um, <laughs> saving the worst till last, uh, who on earth is this? Hello! Hello! Well, whoever it is certainly wouldn't dare to appear in public. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's a miss. Yes. <laughs> it was. I, yes, I didn't, don't actually didn't Camilla know. Parker Bowles' son get into trouble? Might have done. <laughs> didn't he try to strangle his mother? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's yes. a constable. So two of them are constables. Mm. It's either Aitken or Hogg. 
Yeah. Aitken suing me, Hog isn't. Which one do you want? <laughs> <laughs> it's about a show called That Was The Week That Was. Ooh, and you. Dennis Potter, Gerald Kaufman and Ian Lang all used to write scripts for it. Ian Lang wrote scripts. For That Was The Week That Was. He was a satirist mm. before he joined the Conservative Party. <laughs> 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 then he became a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> and the odd one out? The other one out is Brian Redhead. For why? Because he didn't write scripts for it. He was the original presenter and uh, in the pilot, which we did all those years ago, um, he preceded David Frost. Were you both in that show? Were yes. you in the pilot? Yes. We, 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 we were in the pilot, I didn't remember. Brian, when was Very he in great. it? Yes, he was in it. Oh, were you in the series? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, well, that means that uh, Ian Angus wasn't in the pilot of this show. <laughs> no, it's true. Really? Who yeah, was who, it? Who was it, Angus? It was Brian Redhead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Keith Chegwin. <laughs> <laughs> Too expensive, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Too good. <laughs> Wouldn't do the series. Too good. Yeah. So congratulations to Ian for winning his first series ever, and as a special prize, he gets to appear in the next series. <laughs>